Okay, Beano Black, folks, and basically this is what we had last night. And I'll take it back, and I got some data. And yeah, they're going to have to readjust more than likely the uh, megahertz to get it up above 35 for when we get these direct hits. As you can see, it's everything, and I'll even go over today, and it'll be pegged. Now, uh, I'm going to speed through this a little bit because basically I was pointing to now what you'll see is it was also bleeding through on the on some satellite shots because it's been affecting satellites as it will and I'll show you on some data on that and there you go there it got caught on the image from the satellite from the Canadian weather satellite so basically uh, that's that electrical protons and the flux and everything coming in uh, and then we've had what it did is it helped the weather with the idea of vapor okay that's moisture okay see how dry it is right there so so as you see it bled through pretty darn good on and we, we still are getting it unless we're gonna have tons of being able to see the energy and then this is a good example of seeing it in the satellite shot okay uh, that is protons electrons coming through uh, our atmosphere from the Sun so if you get a good a, picture of the spear of it all because basically uh, we're looking off the east coast there's Maine and, and uh, Northwest Territories up over here so as you can see the spear came right in across the North Pole and then over Europe and so forth and stuff like that so board, they probably had a lot of interference the other night over in Europe and stuff like that now uh, I'll hit play see what, what else I've got here I'm gonna have some sound let me get rid of the sound there got rid of that Okay, and that's, the, there's very dry there, so we'll have, like I was saying, that was very dry, and it was pretty much all connected, okay? And as you can see, it was probably the uh, electrons from out in space that came down that spear, and then it dries up with all the dr other dry areas here, okay? Because it does bleed all the way down to Earth, okay? And here's your protons and flux from last night for your three-day image, and then I have the updated three-day image in the other footage that I have. And then basically I show you here, I, I took a couple shots from last night from uh, be able to go back and forth from a fresher map. And then we'll also have today's fresher map. And then there's, a, uh, you know, we know lightning, atomic energy, and I apologize about that, but it was stuck in the Weather Channel's footage of this. And I'm not going to take time to edit it out. And there's no message there at all, it's just basically straight up. I'm not going to waste time editing for that. Uh, because I can pop back through here and the gal gets a lot of great shots of atomic energy okay and basically you can see whatever it is you have we have to look at it we have to try to find a time stamp on this and I'm not sure what if this is the recent now remember I told you to watch camera 7 and I was seeing some activity on channel 7 but I made a few too many disclosing remarks about atomic energy and then I, I didn't want to uh, get myself so uh, can't get in trouble for being intelligent. So, and then here we go with the electric, with your 35 megahertz and on down coming in, protons and your electrical frequencies. Electrical frequencies, yes, ladies and gentlemen, are electricity from outer space. Everything, when it moves fast, i.e. a plane every or an electrical signal that has sound in it, i.e. your fiber optic, remember the old commercials from Ma Bell on TV when they first came out with fiber optic they showed you the light going through the fiber optic yes light speed ladies and gentlemen that's why you're communicating so then you see our our water vapor get moisture up in through here and in through here and broke up this big dry cell that we have which is good because static electricity remember and then what is everybody always fear we get so much from outer space that all of a sudden we just have a bunch of dry lightning now check out the uh, I've got ourselves the uh, plasma map here okay and basically you see how much we shrunk absorbing this okay so basically and then those are satellites going around these are our, I think these are ghosts I, I can't remember exactly the name of our satellites on each one of them I don't really worry about the names on them too much I, I know what they are you can go in and study them all too and memorize them like some moron I'm not that much of a pocket protector I'm not a moron 
So morons can, you know, tell you every... I can tell you more about certain parts of certain motor vehicles, you know, that I've turned wrenches on than remembering the names of every little satellite, okay? So th you see a great shrinkage of our plasma. And everybody always uses that word plasma for all kinds of stuff that they really haven't, you know, but that's what everybody in science... Well, it's our plasma field, okay? It's our coronal, basically, of Earth. Our plasma field of our coronal of Earth, our atmosphere, and so forth and so on. As you see, it shrunk down on those satellites pretty tight here. I'll let it play. It takes a little while, but it'll shrink down pretty good. So, the satellites, and yes, that there you go, see? They even intercepted. So, we were good and lucky that those two satellites were back a little bit on that. So they would have got a lot of, you know, you could possibly get some damage, you know, there's, there are possibilities. We have that spec, and that's a scientific fact from NASA. They, they're studying what, because there's some energy pulses that come from outer space, and they just whammo. I'm just giving this for the idea that, you know, give them credit where credit's due. Great picture. Northwest Territories, Yellowknife area. And Aurora Max caught that picture at that time and everything like that. And so you can see the red. The red is what's astounding in this, and then besides the astounding huge aura. So uh, you can go to spaceweather.com, and I'm sure they just have tons of pictures of the world coming in. So let's hit a refresh on here and see if we end up getting any change much on here right now. And yes, you did. As you notice, if you watch right there, there was pretty good change. So back the video up a little bit. So, and like I say, we need to, ex they're going to have to extend the, because when we get a, a a mean hit off of a CME from the sun now that we know. Now here's your sunspots that are towards the east, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and then I can click on each one of these and bring up them. Okay, and basically that's the one we really wouldn't have to worry about too much because it's basically going to be bye-bye. Uh, these ones here could still, I mean, don't get me wrong, that could explode today, but this could explode for the next day or so because this is all east side. I mean, not east side, this is Earth's earth facing okay and then i go back and i will click on th this is probably one you want to keep an eye on because this will be a little while be growing this is earth side okay and then uh we got here and then i'll try the back button so this is gets you a good idea we watch uh you know weather they we they weather they watch this all the time now remember, you always want to watch, and basically, I got a, I have a diagram, and then this here, and basically, you can always end up going straight to uh, all the government links. Good luck having and finding them. Uh, it takes me a while to find them and everything, get through to them, and then there, here's a gauge for you, and you can basically get a good learning of watching and calling out your alpha, beta, gamma. Delta and Beta and Delta, okay, and basically this ends up being uh, just like electricity, okay. So, any electricians out there, I can get you the high phase all the time, it's always going to be your middle phase, so your high leg. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll give you some more data. There's some more auroral going on. Uh, better give a picture credit here. We got a name on this one. Uh, big thanks goes out. It's Mother Nature. They're taking a picture of nature. They ain't gonna be that big deal. But it's a great catch going out there freezing your noogies off. So here's our sunspots there. Then I'll get into giving us a map. Uh, and here's our d data coming in on our electron or proton flux and then the estimation for the next three days so and they can get ahead on it because the satellites are out there in space okay so and it's all data directly from Boulder and as you can see our forecast is going to be high so there will be more interference to come if you haven't been getting it already. And there's your R three day their forecast there. So the sun, and you always want to watch right here because and then this is getting way ahead. But the idea that so 
future we got some great action coming in we should probably get a good burst of something and uh it, this is where our, elect our electrons coming in from outer space started cross phasing the other night and i had a, another pressure earlier i'm not sure if i would apologize if i didn't get it in but whatever it's like i taped it and this is the freshest today so you know, like i was saying is uh we can take us and get us uh also the solar flux coming in straight from down basically I'm watching a herd of antelope up the window right now this had an antelope herd come back by recently astounding I haven't seen them for a while, so I lost my, uh, anyway, we've got an animal curve up here that comes through every once in a while, and it's very unusual to see them right now, but we've got a nice snow cover, so I guess they're liking the quietness of the snow cover that we've got coming down, so anyway, uh, I'm going to get back out of the video here, and fill out our absorption chart, it'll be interesting to see how fast if we got any more recently here. So a good area to watch is like right here and right here. Let me hit refresh. So basically, you'll be able to better off watching the video because when I'm watching like this, I don't really notice that close. So you'll be able to tell in the video. So <coughs> you're getting a lot of the main blast from the CMEs on the sun that hit us directly. Okay, and this is a lot of data to show you of all that. So, we'll see what else. So look up NOAA, folks, and you can look at the pictures of the, from the sun every day. And go to Solar Argus also, and uh, other various sites. And we should be getting some more flares, some C's or some M's probably from anything along here. This stuff won't hit Earth. This stuff could be Earth directed again. Direct hit, meh, I think the odds of that's going to be a little weak, but getting some glancing blows from some of this stuff and or whatever that's also going to be built up this by the time it gets back around in 78 hours, directly earth facing again. So, and as you can see, earth side is all your numbers here in the center, far side west will go around, and then far side east we get first. See, rotation. Okay. Because it rotates counterclockwise, that's why we follow the sun counterclockwise, okay? And all those planetoid objects that I showed you up, up on, uh, and then this will give you the last seven days down here of rotation in these spots. Now, folks, when you go to stereo, okay, to get most all these images, okay, uh, you got to remember, I'm going to give you a list that's going to make your head boggle about. That's why I always thank every branch of the military. Uh, I've got a big military family and basically very proud of every branch of the U.S. military. Uh, these sunspots are quadrants, and physicists years ago made uh, a quadrant. There's a quadrant, official quadrant, just like GPS, of the sun. So every time we get a spot, it basically, they go off by quadrant numbers of where their spots are located on the sun, okay? So that they can always keep an eye on that spot when it comes back around and so forth and so on, okay? That's how they number them all, okay? There is a quadrant map. All the map, all the sun is mapped by quadrants. So that is quadrant number 1697, 1691. Everything has a quadrant, okay? So that they can study how it's going when it comes back around. And let me give you an, a good... So yes, nat natural atomic energy is very real, ladies and gentlemen, so be careful with what you think you know and what you do know, what you don't know. Uh, atomic energy is very real, it's natural, and physicists a long time ago figured out how to smash the atoms ourselves. So, uh, I'm not sure, watch camera 7 over on every one of my links, camera 7, I've got it on every one of my links on the show more tab. So. we get energy from space, okay, electrical energy from space, all the time.
way more than one sun. So. And I'm not even sure that this is just the sun right there.